Hello everyone, my name is Andy and I try games, and today we're trying out RAD, Robot Alchemic Drive, for the PlayStation 2, a game I probably haven't played since 2004, when my friend David got it for me for my birthday, I believe. So uh, I'm excited to revisit this. It's a pretty unique game, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it since, uh... I'm sure that there's probably been something, but uh, just enjoy this opening cutscene. Hell yeah. Giant robots. Okay. Press the start button. Uh, I'm gonna need a tutorial. First, let's check the options. Oh, it's one of those games where circle is confirmed. Oh dear. Uh, stereo, vibrate, screen to vibrate. Gore, of course. Okay. Tutorial. Dentrance. Dentarium. <laughs> Excuse me, that was gross. <laughs> Dentarian's assault. Uh, heavy arms training. All right, so we'll just do the, we'll do the first. I love kaiju, so let's let's do that. Uh, even though I will be the robot destroying said kaiju. Standard mode. Uh, the Mega Knight is moved using the R1 and 2 and L2. All triggers move up. Precise control on Smash to Directional buttons. Yes. Please. Oh, that's the robot. Okay. I get to pick one. We'll start with this dude, because he seems easy. Uh, cables is for Volcanic mode. Ooh. For three minutes. What is he, Ultraman? Okay. Select a hero. I get to select an anime. Hell yeah. They're all 17 years old. We'll just be this guy. Yes. So from what I remember, you play as the human on the ground and you have to see the robot to actually move it because you control it outside so like it's almost like an RC car I love it I love giant monsters man they're so cool That's some fire breath, holy cow. Fast, you need to move yourself. Use the directional button. Oh, what a voice. <laughs> Press up to advance, down to go back, and left or right to turn. Press the circle button to jump. Alright, so it's tank controls. Now you try. I will try. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Your attention, please. This is an emergency evacuation order. 
Magnite launch imminent. Okay, I could Please use a joystick. Clear the premises and the road surrounding the Civilization Preservation Foundation within 30 seconds. I repeat, Meganite launch imminent. Please clear the area within 30 seconds. No one is permitted on the Foundation's premises and surrounding roads. Ooh, I could hover? I'm like Princess Peach. Oh, I could go way up. All systems, go for launch! Press the select button! Hell yeah. Let's launch this bitch. The select button switches controls between the hero and the Mega Knight. Press the select button to switch control to the Mega Knight. Press the select button again to switch control to the hero. I get it. You've told me this three times. Now press the select button to switch control to the Mega Knight. Ooh, baby. Start by learning how to walk. Press the directional button up to advance. Left or right to turn, and down to move back. All right, now is now when I should try. use the D-pad because it's pretty isometric. Like this is your view. Ah, I love it. The right analog stick is for the right arm. Tip it up and throw a right punch. Likewise, okay. the left analog stick controls the left arm. I get it. Tip the left analog stick up to throw a punch with the left arm. Now you try. I will try. Nothing more I'd like to do than to destroy this building. We bring you a live report from Senjo. Dantarion 2 has entered the city. The enormous creature is now wrecking havoc, unimpeded through the city streets. The self-defense force, whose sworn duty it is to protect the populace, has been reduced to a shadow of its former self. There appears to be nothing that can halt the rampaging Dantarian too. What we are witnessing could very well be the end of humankind. You gonna tell me where he is with an arrow or something? Dantarian approaching. Range one kilometer. The enemy is drawing near. We'd best hurry with your training. The right analog stick fully controls the right arm. I get that. Tip the right analog stick down to swing the right arm back. Tip it to the right to swing the right arm to the right. Basically, the right arm moves with the right analog stick. Now you try. <laughs> Aha. Ooh. Can I do left arm? Are you gonna let me? Next, try a powerful punch. Tip the right analog stick down, then tip it up. That triggers a powerful right straight. The left arm can also do this. Tip the left analog stick down, then tip it up. Now you try. I will try. Hell yeah, fuck that building. <laughs> Next, a hook. <laughs> tip the right analog stick to the right, then rotate it up. In other words, make a 90 degree arc. Now you try. Lastly, we'll go over the controls of the Mega Knight's upper body. There's more? Well, the Mega Knight's torso cannot be controlled in easy mode. Okay. For maximum control over the Mega Knight, you need to take on the challenge of the normal mode. Well, we're not going to do that because I am old and I can't wrap my head around complicated controls. Enough! The enemy is coming! It's time you demonstrated Vavel's power. Who's Vavel? Oh, is that the Mega Knight? I didn't realize. <laughs> Don't forget, the select button switches controls between the hero and the Mega Knight. 
Try to position yourself in a location where it's easy to control the Mega Knight. Alright, I should probably do that. Because from here, I really can't see much. Oh, you're coming right for us. Oh, dear. Can we leave this cutscene, please? Alright, where's a good spot? Let's go to this building here. Oh, that is X. It looks like the Civilization Preservation Foundation has decided to enter the fray. The Foundation's robot has emerged and appears to be challenging the gigantic creature. A colossal battle between the humanoid machine and Dentarian. Alright, let's do this. The monster is set to unfold. This is not a great vantage point, but it's going to have to do. Powerful punches. Tip down one of the analog sticks. So rotate it 180 degrees upwards. Rotate it out to the side for a chop and on the inside for an uppercut. Ooh, uppercut. I like that. Let's do an uppercut. <laughs> Hell yeah. The energy's charged. Use the Grand Charge Attack Assault Knuckle. <laughs> I love that name. Grand Charge Attack Assault Knuckle. Hold down the R1 button to charge. Then tip up the right analog stick. I missed. <laughs> I totally missed. Wait, is that going to home? I hope it homes. It, no, it does not. Hang on, I need to... Damn it! I need a good van- I can't- I can't see... Oh, I gotta recharge my shit. Is this gonna be safe if I go over here? Alright. Oh, this is terrible as well. Uh oh. Ooh. If the enemy strikes an odd pose, it's certain to be charging for a power attack. Tip both the analog sticks inwards to block. Gotcha. All right, let's. Turn this baby around. Yeah, 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 that's the ticket. I wish I could move the camera. Missed the. <laughs> I love this though. This is so cool. I gotta be careful not to like destroy the stadium that I'm standing on. Ooh. Circle does that. Uppercut, baby. I think they just, they really want me to hit him with this. Again. We gotta do that again. Hang on. Alright. That looks good. No, it did not work. Why can't I do it? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. It's charging. Cool. I think I got him. Well done. You've learned the controls well enough to advance to the real thing. I wouldn't say that. However, I've also prepared the advanced heavy arms training.
I suggest you give it a try if you wish to hone your skills. We should do that. This is so cool. Like, the only thing ruining this game is the camera. <laughs> Other than that, this is an awesome game. Like, you actually feel like you're in control of this thing. Alright, or let's... I, I don't wanna... If I have to deal with four buttons rather than one... Alright, we'll stick with Ravel. Pretty well this guy here. I don't remember the heavy arms training. I remember... that. I don't remember this. I wonder if I even did it. The JSDF's 12th Airborne Unit has engaged the Volgara. I hope they can hold out until you're done with training. Well, let's get on with it then. We I'll gotta do, you dude. With on your Mega Knight's heavy arms. First, the basic armaments. Press the triangle button to fire your Mega Knight's beam weapon. I had a beam weapon the whole time. I guess I did hit circle and it did a thing, so. But then fires the Haken laser. Now you try. Oh, I got a switch. All right. Good. Beam weapons consume energy. If there isn't enough energy, they can't be fired. However, even if you do have sufficient energy, watch that you don't waste it. Yeah, otherwise you can't fire your fist. After all. You need a lot of energy for grand charge attacks. Next, ordnance weapons. They are fired using the circle button. Vavel fires Vavel missiles. Now you try. We've done this by accident. Good. Lots of property damage. Good, good. Ordnance weapons can be fired anytime, and they are powerful. But keep in mind that they are limited in quantity. Once you fire the loaded supply, that's it. Confirm how many shots you have left on the screen. Your Mega Knight can be modified to increase the ordnance capacity. Next, the arm weapons, which are housed within the arms themselves. Where else would they be kept? The legs? Pressing the R3 button deploys the right arm weapon. Ooh. You try. Oh my god. In general, the right arm weapon is for physical combat. When it's deployed, the right arm's punching power is enhanced. However, it drains energy while it is deployed. Stow it when it's not needed. What was the first game you played when you learned that the analog sticks were actually buttons? That they had a button function? For me, it was Grand Theft Auto 3 to honk. Pressing the R3 button again stores the right arm weapon. You try. Next, pressing the L3 button deploys the left arm weapon. You try. This has to be a sword. It's gotta be. It's a chainsaw? The left arm weapon launches a projectile. Oh no, okay. Bavel's left arm weapon is the pyro burner. Ah, fire. Tip the left analog stick to shoot a stream of 100,000 degree fire. Excellent. Good. However, it reduces the left arm's punching power. Use it only when it's necessary. Does it drain energy though? Press the L3 button again to store it when it's not needed. Try it now. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> the JSDF's defense is cracking. Close to half their units are gone. 
It appears that we must hurry. Fine. We'll move on to grand charge attacks. Press the R1 button to strike a pose. That is called a grand charge. Now you try. Don't mind if I do. Initiating a grand charge is extremely important to prepare for a powerful attack. During a grand charge, the alchemic life output is maximized for attack. All robots, even the Vulgar, must do a grand charge before a powerful attack. First, grand charge, then press the triangle button. But where's grand charge attack is the lava stream. Try it! I like the sound of lava stream. Good! Hell yeah. A grand charge attack is extremely powerful. However, it consumes so much energy, it can't be used early in battle. Well, that's a shame. It really is, because I would like to use that early in battle. <laughs> Another thing. <laughs> Press the triangle button after a grand charge for a powerful beam attack. Likewise, press the circle button after a grand charge for a special physical attack. Mm -hmm. However, special physical attacks require research and development funding. Oh no, not R&D. We still have some time to spare, so let's move on to how to make the Mega Knight jump. Oh yes, please. In order to jump, the Mega Knight must squat first. Yeah, boy. Hold down the R2 button to squat. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, give it a try. Press the R2 button again to stand up from the squat position. Try. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'd rather squat, thank you. Okay, let's just do it. Good. Now we'll move on to learning how to jump. Make the Mega Knight squat again. Squat in position. Press the R1 button while squatting to jump. Now you try. Uh, is this a regular vertical or am I gonna move? All right, I do move. You can change the direction of the Mega Knight in mid air. Cool. In addition, it is possible to throw punches while jumping. Oh, okay. Jumping is an essential technique to avoid obstacles. Make sure to master it. I will do my best. The government has asked for our support. The JSDF has been wiped out. It's showtime. Oh, there's something else I should tell you. You'll be more effective in battle if you can make the Mega Knight change direction while it's in motion. Practice doing so. The Volgara is preparing to phantom teleport. Calculating phantom out coordinates. Probably right to where we are. It's going to phantom out in this area. Of course. It wouldn't be a tutorial if that didn't happen. He's got pointy hands. thing is toast. Absolutely toast. I do need to find my vantage point, though. That's, that's the only thing that I just, about this game where it's like, ugh. I gotta find a place to, to stand. It's time you demonstrated the Mega Knight's power. In time. Uh, I guess we'll go for this building first. I, not X. I keep hitting X to jump. Oh god, don't fall. Alright, I guess that's gonna be good enough for now. My robot looks like it's walking while drunk. Did I get him?
Hit him with the fire. Hell yeah. Put that shit away. <laughs> nope. Oh my god. We're not close enough. Man, I gotta move. I again with the X button. Hang on, buddy, I'm coming. This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Straight punch. Just let him come to you, that's it. Oh, oh, I should have. I I'm gonna do it every time. I'm gonna hit X. This is far too close for comfort. Oh shit, we better hang on. Alright, never mind. Nothing ha nothing happened. Okay. Let's do it. Unbelievable. Press both analog sticks inward to guard. Yeah, I know. When the Vargara initiates an attack, guard immediately. Vargara's attacks can be inferred in advance. Before a Vargara attacks, it initiates certain movements. It may wind up or pause. If you see any suspicious movements, guard quickly. Here's a suspicious movement for you. A drill. Fuck you, man. I like this. Well. <laughs> we need to get rid of this building. I cannot see. This is... Oh, he's right there. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Power was not full yet. Oh, got him. Hell yeah. I love this. Okay. So. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no. Alright, let's try a story mode real quick. Because we are a bit a new game. I don't even wouldn't fathom where I am. <laughs> you know, back in 2004. Oh, please don't do that. All right, easy mode. Stick with Havel. Yes. How can I save the world? Ah, oh, humankind's first lunar expedition. Humans have found the moon. So far, this is right. However, the entire Luna crew dies mysteriously on the return flight. Well, this is where things differ. 75, humankind's first manned space station is constructed. 76, the space station's crew all die. Get a sense of pattern here. 1980, Nectar Radius is discovered. Nectar Radiance? Nectar Radiance is found to be drifting throughout space. It is invariably lethal to any organic life form. It penetrates any substance. Nothing could provide protection from it, so long as nectar radiance exists. It is impossible for life forms to travel into space. Earth's organic life forms are able to survive only because of the planet's protective atmosphere. Nectar radiance imprisons life forms on Earth. Humankind christens it the nectar barrier. 1981. All space exploration projects are indefinitely postponed. Humankind cannot advance to the stars. Alien life forms cannot come to Earth from space. Humankind continues its solitary existence. However, we get invaded by something. 
a Godzilla-esque creature, perhaps? Something from the Pacific Rim area? Mega Knight's Awakening. Hello, we bring you breaking news. It's... It's just... just beyond belief. Rome is reportedly under attack by a gigantic humanoid weapon. It is said to have suddenly appeared and begun attacking indiscriminately. Damage is estimated to be catastrophic. We will bring you more information as soon as we receive any updates. Oh. Do we have an We've update? Made connection. We've got a live feed from the disaster scene. A giant robot appears in this Italy. This is live from Rome. The city is under attack by a towering humanoid weapon, which suddenly appeared out of nowhere. The weapon appears to be attacking indiscriminately. The city is burning. It's... it's unbelievable. It's like something from out of a movie. Oh! Something shot out of it. It... it blew a building apart. It's simply incredible. The Eternal City is fast becoming a blazing ruin. This isn't a movie. This is real. This is reality. Honestly, the voice acting in this game, pretty terrible, but I love it. How do people... No, it's voice acting. Can it be difficult? Yes. I'm no professional. I can still do it. <laughs> Where do they find these people? Darn, I'm late. Whoa, dude, I have a voice. I've got to hurry before she leaves without me. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. If if any of you watch Game Grumps, whenever they play a visual novel game and the main character talks, he sounds like the character, the voice that Aaron always gives the main character. Directional bot is it okay, yes. Hero moving. We're supposed to meet on the train station platform. Well, there's the station. Senjo Station. Very good. I can just float indiscriminately. The platform's up past the wickets. Wickets? You mean the turnstile? I've never heard them called wickets before. The only wicket I know is an Ewok. You're late. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Then now, we've been friends since junior high. Don't worry about it. Anyway, thanks for joining me to shop. Let's catch the next train. Arriving on track one is a local train bound for Isenjo. Please stand back. I'll do what I want. I'll do this. Oh sweet, they must have found my mixtape. Attention Mr. Sukiyoka. Calling Mr. Sukiyoka. Can you hear me Mr. Sukiyoka? What is going on? They're calling for you. Mr. Sukioka, please, please come, come now. now. The Trillennium Committee needs your help. help. The Trillennium Committee? The committee has gone active. What are you talking about? What is the committee? The cause of Sukioka's bankruptcy. They've blown a fortune making scrap metal.
I can fight this guy. What is this? It's a tutorial boss. I've done this before. What? It can't be. Is it the phantom effect? Vulgara giant, so it truly exists. Oh, I don't have a robot. Um, help, help again. X button is not jump. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get up here to see it at least. Look at that. Can I can I get a robot, please? That robot is heading towards the city. I have to go. Then now wait. Where are you going? I have to go home to grandma. She wasn't feeling well, so she stayed in bed. Wait! Are you going to try running past that robot? I have to save my grandma! Alright. I'll go with you. The red spot on the map. Okay, I got a map now? Awesome. Where? Press the start button to display the map. So it's it's that way. Oh, we can just run, we just go behind him. It's fine. Is she following me? Like, is she here? Okay, she's here. <laughs> again, I did it again. Oh, we are in the wrong sector here. We're getting there. That's that should be it. This is the house, right? No, it's not. Where is this damn house? I like ah oh, here we go. This is it. Grandma! Get out of my way. Where are you going? There's a fence. Good lord. There was some gore there. I don't know about you, but if, if, if I saw my grandma obliterated by a giant robot, that's not, then no, I would have been releasing. This can't be true. The city. Senjo is on fire. Alright, give me the big robot. Oh, is that the scientist? Crafted of Repton Carbonite Alloy. So that's a Volgara Giant. The predictions then were indeed correct. Dr. Arai! German? What good timing. Observe. That is a Volgara. 
the one who can overcome the Nectar Barrier. This isn't the time for that. We have to take cover somewhere. Take cover? What are you saying? Isn't there something that you ought to be doing? Huh? Why does the Trilinium Committee exist? What purpose does the Mega Knight serve? Are you saying the Mega Knight is... No, it can't be. It was all for what is happening today. This is the controller. Now go, go to the committee. But... Get going, hurry! Okay, I gotta go to the committee, which is right by the giant monster. Cool. I mean, if I just walk on this side, I should be okay. You won't get me here. Volgara, it seems shameful to destroy it. For you are the apex of evolution, the ultimate form of life. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dr. Rai! Why? <sighs> yeah, that's funny. I still got a ways to go here. This is Mika Banhara, live from downtown Senjo. And an immeasurable devastation is unfolding here at the hands of an enormous humanoid weapon. It is firing what appear to be beams of massive destructive power. Because the weapon appeared with no warning, the populace and the authorities appear to be in a total panic. It is a scene of unbelievable destruction and carnage. What you are seeing is not a movie. Already, numerous casualties have been reported. Ah, Chairman. You're just in time. Fine, then we will launch the well. Huh? Isn't it incomplete? Alchemic drive hasn't been tested. System ignition could be dangerous. You're going to launch anyway? If anything goes wrong, it will be a catastrophe. But while I would like to avoid unnecessary risk, Senjo is doomed if we don't act. Alchemic Drive may go out of control and kill us, or we die at the hands of the Valgara. We have no choice. Pray that it works. Listen, this is science. We don't pray for anything except for miracles. You've got to be joking. What are you people saying? What is Favel? What about your grandma? Alchemic drive ignition. Favel, prepare for launch. I think I just gotta wait. Uh, step out over here. You know who she sounds like? Tails. From Sonic the Hedgehog. What's happening? Vavel. Mega Knight Vavel. Okay, don't give me the. I. 
there's a reason why I did a tutorial. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, yes. Alright, well, let's, uh. Where are we right now? I'm facing that way. I want to be this way, right? Face the big monster. I hit the X button to, you know, do what you're doing. Right here seems... <laughs> would have been good, actually, but... Alright. The situation has taken a turn for the worse. Senjo, already devastated by an enormous human weapon, has seen the appearance of another human weapon. Will Senjo be trampled by these two mechanical behemoths? The city's fate appears to grow dimmer than a candle in the wind. Chairman, can you hear me? Yes, I did step on somebody. Dr. Wilkes? I hear you. The enemy's coming. What should I do? Fire the Harkin laser. But I missed. What? Harkin laser didn't harm it? What armor? So this is Vargara's power. Now what? Launch Vavel missiles. They are powerful, but few in number. Press the circle button. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. Vanished. Hey, you're like right on me, dude. It teleported to avoid attack? That must be Volgara's defense mechanism. The Phantom System. Our attacks won't hit. Move in for hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Phantom System should not react to punches thrown at short range. The analog sticks are for punching. Tip what? I know. You should know how to punch. Each I know. I know. We've done this for the first half hour of this video. Oops. Don't knock him towards me. Enemy energy output down. We confirm the attack is effective. It's working. Chairman, keep going. There's been a startling new development. The newly emerged humanoid weapon has challenged the rampaging robot. The two mechanical giants are locked in fierce battle. I would say it's we're locked incredible. in Mortal Kombat, actually. We can feel tremors from their violent clashes. Could this be the coming of the Armageddon? Quick teabag him. Teach you a powerful punch. Oh no, this never hits. Tip an analog stick out to the side. Oh no, uh, yeah, we, we know the hook. Man, I should have just done this instead of the tutorial. <laughs> this is not good. This is not a good place to be. An analog stick down. Then rotate it up. 100 and... Now... Uh -huh. Good. The energy is charged. Use the grand charge attack assault knuckle. I really wanted to hear him say that again. Hold down the... Yes, R1 button. Then the analog stick. Uh, if I could just see the guy I'm aiming at... Hope for the best. Ooh, I got him. Granted, he was right in front of me. Shortly after noon today, an enormous humanoid weapon landed on our soil. 
The enormous robot was the second to be seen after the Italian calamity. The unidentified robot attacked the city of Senjo indiscriminately. Numerous casualties have been reported. This second robot was challenged by a third humanoid robot. In a pitched battle, the third robot defeated the second robot. The intervention of the third robot saved Senjo from total annihilation. The victorious robot left Senjo. Its present whereabouts are unknown. Damage to Senjo is extensive. The death total is expected to reach a thousand. So far, so good. This is pretty good. This is great. Uh, save game. Save. Is he going to show me my old save file? I made it to episode four, and I picked that guy? Okay. I didn't realize I played that much. I thought I just did, like, the tutorial and that was it. Hell yeah. Alright, but you know what? That's going to be the end of this video. Robot, Alchemic Drive, or Rad. It's Rad, Rad game. Sorry for that, but I had to do it. Um... I don't know how much it is now, but, um, oh, it's got two player. That's cool. Uh, if it's not too expensive, pick it up because, you know, it's, it's cool. I've never seen anything like this since. Um, at least I don't think I have where you like control a giant robot from the outside. It's not like, honestly, if they could think of a better way to do it where you could see better. Like, maybe you'd be from the air or something. Like, I'd, I'd play that in a heartbeat. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you thought. Whether or not you've had this or played it or whatever. And uh, I'll see you all in something else. Goodbye, everybody.